Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate the support. We're back at it with now no longer FSD beta, but FSD supervised or FSDS, however you want to call it. We're with the latest version 12.3.3, which is dropping the beta designation and going to a supervised designation to delineate the fact that you have to actually supervise it, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna take it out for a spin on our test path, see how it does, see how it compares to previous versions, and we'll do that right now. Coming up to our first turn. Turn number one does pretty good, pretty blind to the left. You have to really get out there to really see. We'll see what happens here, see what it does, and go from there. Car is turning and has a way to go, so it can go now if it'd like to. Go, go, go. And it's going. Good job. Good job on turn one. So with the, the dropping of the beta designation, the details uh, of this new supervised FSD uh, say nothing about having your hand on the wheel or the yoke. Uh, it just says the cabin camera will monitor uh, your eyes and attentiveness to the road. So that might bode well to not having nags or having less nags. We'll see on this drive, see how it does. Coming up to the second turn, staging it nicely, good mile an hour, watching proximity to the curb, which is pretty good there. All good. 12 mile an hour, it was great. Here's the winding road. Turn signal still on, not great. A little close to the side, very close to the side, uncomfortably close to the side but it does it competently. So that's still an issue. Again, not a regression, but just still a persistent issue with the different versions of version 12 that we've had so far. Very competent, very um, capable of doing what it needs to do, especially around here. Great job here, great lean in here. Cars are coming. Good job here, not too close on that one. So that's a great one. So winding roads is a success. Now we're coming to our unprotected left. Light to moderate traffic today. So far, no indication of hand on the yoke just yet, but I don't want to speak too soon. Car is turning, commits and goes. Wonderful. Excellent, excellent job. Many, many iterations of FSD beta to get to this point. And that's a great, great job. Very smooth, very human-like, very confidence-inspiring, and a good speed too. 25 with the auto offset seemed to be a little bit better. A little bit more competent here, slowing down to the flow of traffic or speeding up to the flow of traffic and slowing down accordingly. So, so far, so good. Okay, everything that we're talking about now uh, with FSD is about fine tuning and getting it to that level of perfection. Some call it the March of Nines, but that level of perfection where it can handle just about anything. But more importantly, it becomes extremely predictable. The predictability of it is what's going to drive mass adoption. If people understand exactly what it's going to do and know what it's going to do before it does it, then they'll feel more comfortable using it. If it does things that are unpredictable, then it's going to be a problem. But so far, this has been pretty, pretty smooth. This is really good, really refined from version 12.3.1 and 12.3 proper. So this is great. Again, no eyes are pretty uh, well lit here. Sunny day. No sunglasses. Car can see my eyes perfectly, uh, but no nag just yet. And we typically would have at least one right now. So this is actually very encouraging. Uh, this is what I've been asking. It seems like, it seems like, I don't want to jinx it, but it seems like what I've been asking for for so long, which is use eye tracking or hand on the yoke. If your eyes are not paying attention, you have to have the hand on the yoke. If your eyes are paying attention, you don't need to have your hands on the yoke to create a hands-free, conditional hands-free situation for you. So this is looking great. This is feeling great as well. Very comfortable so far. For those that are new, this is our, our test path, our regression path. Still a little bit indecisive here of which lane it wants to be in. And here's my first nag, which is great because it's still spaced out. It's not as frequent as it typically is. So maybe it's a, it's a gradual progression where they space them out and then... Uh, and then again, eliminate them all together once they get enough data. But this is our typical regression test path. It's very simple. 
the point is just to be able to really hone in on the differences between the builds, how they handle these same basic scenarios over and over again. Not to be challenging, not to be complex, but just to really give a sense of, hey, how is this better than the last one? How can you tell if you're not driving the same route, same conditions, et cetera? So slows down very nicely for the pedestrian. Good job there. Okay, a little bit more frequent now. So nags are not completely gone, but this is uh, very encouraging either way. Coming up to the train tracks, we have the same shuttle bus that kind of jammed us up the last time because it comes to a full stop at a railroad crossing. Let's see what it does here. People are passing, which is the wrong thing they should be doing. They should wait for it. They're crossing double yellow lines. So that's bad behavior. But we've got some pretty good behavior from the FSD here for not crossing or not trying to pass that particular truck and staying the course, just taking his time. Making the same right here. It can turn on red person ran the red light completely that's pretty bad and we'll wait behind this bus so so far so good really liking what i'm feeling uh the nag is you know negligible it's not as frequent uh, but it is still there so i'm interested to see what the message says i think the message is the same when i turned it on but either way uh it's still a great a great product and i got again it kind of falls in line with the concept of being supervised you have to supervise you have to monitor the situation there we go good distance from the curb i like that bus is turning in just trying to pass Ooh, tight Ooh, very tight that's i had to whew. Almost lost five pounds on that one. That was pretty tight. Uh, it did it. Probably should not have done that. I'm going to actually flag that one. Um, if I can flag it. There we go. And then it pulls over nicely here for our destination. So that's great. Good job. It's going to keep going. I'm going to stop it here because it's going to keep going, trying to get over there. I'm going to pull down this, this little street here. But that was pretty good in terms of it trying to maneuver around that truck to get past an obstacle, which is what I noticed that version 12 does really well, try to maneuver around obstacles, even if they're tight quarters, which is great. But again, I'm always concerned about, hey, is it gonna hit something? Is it gonna nick something? What about the mirrors, right? So what about the, the, the width of the vehicle with the mirrors? Does it take that into consideration or is it just considering the whole car of where the cameras are? So things like that is, is what I think about when I see situations like that, but that was a tight fit, unnecessarily so. It could have just waited and let the truck pass. Um, I'm always of the mindset that it should do the safest thing possible uh, to avoid an issue. So that's where I am with that, okay? So overall, this is a great drive. Uh, for level of confidence, I'm gonna give it a nine. Uh, for level of comfort, I'm gonna give it a nine. For decision-making, I'm gonna also give it a nine. Again, that last decision of trying to go past a truck, it made it, it could do it, it was safe enough to do it. Tight squeeze wasn't my preference, but I think competently and objectively, uh, it still was, a, was an overall nine for the decisions that it made. In terms of safety, I also felt very safe. Again, obviously, I almost lost five pounds with it getting so close to the curb and that being an issue that I knew about, but I still feel safe. So I'm going to give it a nine as well. So nines across the board on this one, which is great and means that there are really no real regressions, at least on the first pass, that we're seeing with version 11, excuse me, version 12.3.3 coming back from 12.3.2.1, Okay. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you got this bill, this is going out to a lot of people, a lot of people getting a free trial. This is now FSD supervised. So I think a lot of more people are going to get this one. But let me know your thoughts in the comments of what you think about this one, how it compares to previous versions. If you have just version 11 and you're just now getting the free trial for version 12, what does that look like for you? And until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.